Hi, so I am going to show you a quick overview of my Algebra Interactive Notebook. My Algebra Interactive Notebook is over 200 pages of curriculum that I created. I have 16 foldables in the Algebra Notebook and I also have lots of pages that students are going to have direct instruction and also reflections of uh, taking turns solving problems. So you'll see each concept has a right side where students are going to have direct instruction, um, where they'll be learning about a concept, they will be following steps, writing down information. The left page, and you can change them if you want this to go on the left page and then the reflection and, and their work to go on the right page, but I did this on the left page of the notebook. Um, students, after they learned a concept, they ended up doing three problems on their own, and then they also write a reflection of what they learned from that concept. So I'm going to show you, if you purchase my notebook, exactly what you're going to be given. So you are going to get a zip file that says Algebra Notebook. You will open that. and. Right here, this Algebra Notebook folder has the blank template. The answer key has the answer key template. Um, I'll talk about the overview. And then I have a notebook starter and teacher notes and pictures. So I will go over those. I'm going to real quick go over the blank template. There are 10 units. You have Intro to Algebra, Equations and Inequalities, Functions, Sequences, Linear Equations, exponents, systems of equations and inequalities, polynomials, quadratics, and radicals. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to open Intro to Algebra, the first one so you can see. Okay, and then this is what the unit includes. So it includes the real number system, properties of real numbers, and so on. It's just getting students um, reviewing back into Algebra. Okay, so here's some teacher notes. The notes go over that you can have uh, students do the blank template. You can print the blank template and do kind of like direct instruction and have students fill in the, uh, the interactive notebook. Or you can also use the interactive notebook that already has the answers printed and students can still cut out the foldables and glue those. The answers will be printed underneath. So um, that's nice. You can accommodate students. You can give them the, uh, the one that already has the answers printed if they're absent or if they need help um, writing. You, it's a great way to accommodate for them. Okay, so I'm going to go over the unit now. So unit one checklist, each unit has one of these. Students will, when they're going through the unit, they will check off the ones that they have learned and that they understand. If there's one that they're shaky on, that they are confused and need to go back and study, they won't check that off. Um, it's a great way before a test so they know what they need to study. This is the overview that you saw in the very beginning um, when I was looking at my folder. I have it right here where it is editable. So you can actually edit this information. So I have each unit has one of these, the concepts. It goes over the concepts. Um, essential questions, what are the essential questions? Vocabulary, what are important terms that you're gonna be learning? Important dates, uh, pretest, when are you going to have your pretest if you give one? Um, Post-test, the date and vocabulary quiz. What did they get? A, their score on the pretest, the post-test, and vocabulary quiz. I love having this because it holds students accountable. Students can't say, hey, I didn't know there was a test today. You give this to them before you start the unit, and um, you can have them write in the date of the test. Okay, so now it's getting into the actual um, notebook. So this is the blank template. Again, um, this is the real number system. Students will cut out the cutouts, and then they will paste it on here. So I actually have this one to show you. 
Okay, so I did this myself to give you an example of how it will look. Students will look at natural numbers. What are natural numbers? And give some examples. What's nice about the foldables is it gives students lots of room to write. They can write here. They can also write down here. Integers. Rational numbers. Lots of room. Um, I'm sorry, this is rational numbers. This one was what are integers, sorry, rational numbers. And then up here, what are irrationals? And then what is the real number system? What is the importance of it? So again, students can write up above and down below. Um, nice thing about these uh, foldables and of all the right side of the notebook is they have the I can statements. So when students are introduced to a concept, they are going to write uh, what they are going to accomplish, um, what they're going to learn by the end of the uh, lesson. Okay, so go through real quick. This is all unit one. Um, I said they are going to get the your turn. So for example, this is the your turn page. Um, what's nice about these is students can rate themselves on how well they understand the concept. Five is the highest, one is the lowest. Um, students will also write a reflection of what they learned. Okay, so I'm just going to go through real quickly so you can see all kinds of information that they are given. Okay, and that's unit one. Now, again, I have, that was unit one, I have two all the way through ten, so it's over 200 pages of material. I'm going to go ahead and show you the answer key. Um, I'm just going to do, let's say, answer key of unit two. So you can see a different one. This one's of equations and inequalities. And again, there's unit two checklist, unit two overview. And so this is the answer keys. So again, you can print this for students um, if they they have a hard difficulty time writing or um, following along or student was absent and you want to they you don't want them to miss the information you can always give them this and then students I left it blank for reflection because then they can still write what they learned so they can look over the information and, and write what they learned from it okay and so again this is unit two all right now I am also going to show you the notebook starter. I included this as an extra. Um, it is really nice. It's a nice tool to have to start your interactive notebook. Um, so here, classroom rules, you can write any additional rules. Oh, and students are going to sign it and parents. Um, the algebra notebook expectations. What are your expectations, your reasons for it? Students are going to sign and date it. Grading rubric, I love this grading rubric because it informs students from day one of how you are going to grade their notebook. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this. Um, it goes off of organization and appearance. And you can decide how many points you want to grade it out of. Completeness. Teacher comments, I love having that there because you can write um, what students are doing well, what they need to work on to get those points. Um, it's just really nice way to inform them uh, how they're doing with their notebook. So this is first quarter score, there's second quarter, third, and fourth quarter. If you have a different grade uh, scale that you like to use or a different way that you grade the notebooks, you don't have to use this, it's just an option. And then there's table of contents, goes by standard, title, description, page number. Reflection, I love to use the reflection throughout the whole year, so I print this multiple times. Um, students are going to write what they learned, give me a nice paragraph. They will draw a visual, and then they will give me an example. Goals, setting goals, I think it's real important for students to set goals and, and uh, accomplish those goals. So. Uh, first, second, third, fourth quarter. This is another one that you can print multiple times throughout the year. And so they'll just check mark whichever quarter it is. Uh, what their goals are for that quarter. Why it is important for them to achieve it. And how they, were, how they will achieve those goals. Now this one is a look back. So this is looking at 
did you accomplish those goals? Did you not accomplish them? Why did you not accomplish them? Or why, or why did you accomplish them? Um, and then also, what are some techniques that I can use to become a better goal setter? Okay, so that's all that's included in the very beginning of the notebook to help start the notebook. And then lastly, the other thing I have included is just some teacher notes on ways that you can use the uh, notebook in your classroom. Um, I discuss in here how you can write on both sides uh, when you're using the foldables. Also, there's extra room. You can write in any additional information that you feel that I have left out. Um, I wrote on here that you can use colored paper. So I'm gonna show you these. I used colored paper on this one. So if you are running out of time and um, you don't want your students to color, um, you can print the foldables, um, the cutouts on colored paper and have students glue those in. And then you can have them color the rest at home or, the, or they don't even have to color it. So that's up to you. Um, so that's how you can use the uh, foldables without having uh, students use coloring or anything like that. Okay, and then going on, just some more uh, teacher notes. Okay, and so I'm going to just show you real quick the different um, foldables. I said there are 16 in there. You saw these two already. And I'm going to go over, so here's order of operations. So students are going to look at the order of operations. Here, identifying parts of an expression. And you can have students draw arrows, write in all the terms. Um, words to symbols. I love color coding. Um, I think that it works really, really well with my students. So I will have students like box numbers, or I'll have them um, circle, um, underline, things like that. I love color coding too. Highlighters would work really well with this notebook. Um, one solution, no solution, infinitely many solutions. Here are the properties of equality. I have my students write quite a bit. So here they're actually telling me what is the um, the addition property and then also they are going to explain it. I want them to write the explanation on there. So this one is two-step inequalities. I also have one-step inequalities that looks very similar. Some teachers don't go over the one-step. Some do because they want to uh, recap so to make sure students remember how to solve one-step inequalities. This one is in the intro to algebra, so it's in unit one, and then this one goes on. And what's nice about these is students are going to write what it is, so the inequality is greater than or equal to. And for the graph, you are um, going right and using a closed circle. And then important note, students need to remember, they always forget, that when you're dividing by a negative or multiplying, um, you are going to flip the inequality sign. Room up here, you can have students write some examples, so how this um, inequality less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to. And then there were some examples. Domain, range, minimum, maximum. Um, some go over sequences, so I just added this in there as an extra. So if you go over sequences, this one is in there. This is unit four. Um, goes over recursive and explicit. I love this foldable. Students love this foldable because there's some visuals on here. You can see he's going up for positive, down negative, no slope, it's not even moving, and then undefined. Um, what I love about this is students are going to draw the graph and then they're also gonna write. What does that mean? Okay, I want them to not only see the visual, but I also want them to write how they understand to uh, tell the different type of slopes. Okay, and then here I have the FOIL method, which is really the distributed property. Um, but usually we talk about the FOIL method, so first outer, inner, and last. You can see I, write, I have them write it on the top, and then an example. Okay, and then there's some examples. And last one is systems of equations and inequalities. It goes over one uh, solution, no solution, infinitely many. Students will describe 
what does it mean to have one solution and what does the graph look like so these are really nice foldables um, down here too students are going to write how do we know when two equations have infinitely many solutions can I look at two equations and is there something that I can see so that I know that it's going to have infinitely many solutions so that's really cool it gets students thinking um, about the math okay so this is it I hope you really liked my um, algebra um, interactive notebook video. If you really like my algebra uh, curriculum, you can buy this notebook. I will provide a link down below. Thank you so much for watching my video.